Morning everybody, uh, Dan from Silver Lake Auto here. Uh, part of my New Year's resolution this year was to try to take more technical video videos of what we're doing here at Silver Lake Auto and uh, wanted to share one here with you of this Lexus uh, RX 400H, uh, one of the hybrid versions of this SUV. Uh, as you can see here we got the hybrid battery pack out and a lot of the interior disassembled so we can do some diagnostics. Uh, this vehicle is an odd one. It came in here with what's called a battery isolation fault. Um, basically what that means is the hybrid battery, the system is a contained system, and the computer system monitors voltage and it could see voltage leaking out of the contained system into the chassis of the car. Uh, in a lot of situations this can become very dangerous. You got a hybrid battery nearing 300 volts in this vehicle that is leaking voltage out of its uh, contained system. So we got to get to the bottom of it and find out why. A uh, vehicle goes through some safety systems where it actually shuts down the hybrid battery and hybrid system so um, no uh, um, accidents can happen with electrocution and any of that. So it's, it's actually a very, very safe system. Um, but nonetheless, the battery light is on and uh, the vehicle is not starting because of this. Um, Would have got this video sooner, but the guys were a little bit ahead of me yesterday. and. Uh, they got it disassembled, but I'll show you what we found. Um, you do need some specialty equipment. This is not something that you really should be doing at home unless you are extremely well trained. Like I said, there's 300 volts here. Uh, you need rubber gloves. This is actually an isolation tester, uh, insulation tester to, to measure the insulation to find out where, where, uh, where we're losing insulation in the harness. Um, but to get down into the bottom of it, um, what we found in this battery, as you can see down here, there's a little hole in the battery. And you can see what the remnants of the water that was getting into this battery. And this is um, the hybrid relay system here. This uh, water, actually, when we took it apart, it was giving us a little bit of problems. What we found um, when we took it apart it was actually ice. It wasn't, uh, wasn't water at the time, so the cold was very intermittent, uh, depending on whether the water's sloshing around or if it's ice and it's uh, standing still. Um, so it gave us a little bit of a problem. What we ended up finding is the battery sits inside of here and you can see there's all sorts of debris and garbage inside, inside of the bottom of this car. There's Tootsie Roll wrappers, Snickers wrappers, uh, some change. But in the bottom of the car here is this little drain and there's a filter inside of here. This filter is actually plugged up. You can see it gets plugged up with all this loose debris that's sitting inside of this car here. So um, over time, so, but, you know, the root of the cause is really there shouldn't be any water in this vehicle at all, right? Um, the drain is there just in case there's some water that gets in a vehicle, but um, in researching and looking a little further in this car, I don't know if the video is going to show this well, but there's a water stain up there. You can kind of see it right, right here, the water stain in this vehicle. I kind of tipped this off that hmm, there might be water leaking through here, through this tailgate assembly. Um, and on further inspection, we found uh, there's some... Uh, one of the body pinch welds here, this epoxy sealant is all cracking and leaking here and we're going to have to go ahead and, and fix the actual root cause of this problem and get that resealed back up, get the bottom of this vehicle dried up. We're going to put a new drain in there with a fresh new filter in it, clean this battery up and reassemble it and uh, just make sure everything's fixed on it. But um, pretty sure, you know, yesterday, if I would have took a picture of it yesterday, there's quite a bit of water and ice in this car. Uh, that was causing us with the isolation fault. So, I uh, hope you find this video interesting and useful. Um, again, this really isn't something for the do-it-yourself or this is a very dangerous system that can uh, potentially harm you if you don't um, treat it with respect and know exactly where you need to be touching and uh, working and testing. It's a pretty complex system. But, uh, you ever run into this? This is kind of something you can have your technician look for or definitely uh, reach out to us and we'll help you out as much as we can. Thank you very much and hope you guys